Hello friends, Brian Gottlieb here, coming to you from Legend Story Studios down in Auckland. Our beautiful new-ish studio, still only a few months old. We're moving in, we're getting comfortable, and we're bringing you the hottest content around, including some pack one, pick one from our latest set, Heavy Hitters. If you've been in your store, your local game store, playing RTNs, playing Armories, you know this set is awesome for Limited. You're out there having a great time, just like I have been. And we wanna give you a few tips and tricks if you're looking to succeed. And let's not forget about our players heading out to the Pro Tour. Of course, Pro Tour LA just around the corner. They're going to be there. They're going to be battling. They're going to be playing Heavy Hitters Draft. They're also going to be using this beautiful Grandeur of Valahai playmat. That is, of course, the player's playmat for the Pro Tour. You're seeing it for the first time on display here. But let's get into the action. Let's do a little pack one, pick one here. Of course, this represents us just starting off our draft, figuring out how things are going to go, and making that very first pick that's going to kind of set the tone for how we're going to go ahead and do everything else. So we'll get our tokens out of the way here, and then we'll break things down by class, warrior, Brute, Guardian, of course, the three classes and heavy hitters. We'll get our hybrid cards separated out of the way. Equipment pulled aside, generics, more hybrid, and then we have more hybrid in our foil slot. So a pretty thin pack as far as equipment goes here. I do see a nice rare option here that allows us to stay very open. Of course, three for seven is critical in this format. Wage gold used very effectively by quite a few heroes. Moving on to our hybrid classes. Again, just kind of starting with things that leave us a little bit more open before we commit to a single class. We're seeing things, uh, you know, good options here. Batter not broken, a nice prevention effect. Very good at combating that out of nowhere damage that war Warrior is capable of creating, and you get that my token as well. So bolsters the offensive output of your next turn. Rising energy, a solid glue card. I'm not really considering first picking it most of the time, but I am happy to have it in my decks. So I think the open options are okay. I love to stay open when it comes to heavy hitters draft. However, two really, really powerful options here in the class section. We have Agile Engagement and Assault and Battery available to us, uh, Warrior Attack Reaction, Brute Attack, and both of these critically capable of producing agility. Agility is so, so important for extending turns in this format, getting wide, and absolutely maximizing your damage output. Choosing between these two cards, always tough. It's it's a really, really close pick for me, but I am going to hone in on these two as my options, and I honestly think you can do this one on personal preference. If you're a warrior stand, go ahead and take the agile engagement, get ready to play some Olympia, get ready to play some Kasai. If you're a brute person, assault and battery, you really can't go wrong with a 3-7, especially one with a lot of upside. Me personally, I'm a brute guy. I'm going to go assault and battery as my pack one pick one for this very first pack. What's up, guys? It's Callum. Uh, we're going to get into a little pack one, pick one, and ooh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay, this pack is stacked. This is sweet. So, some very good cards in a lot of different directions here. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of making agility tokens in this format. Assault and Battery is one of my favorite cards. If I'm gonna go, uh, this is a real premium common. Uh, however, oh, Warrior is probably my favorite class to draft and Agile Engagement, another incredibly high pick card. Wage Gold's interesting because it allows you to stay open. This new universal keyword's very sweet there. And just the three for seven with the, the gold wager. Gold's obviously very important in this format and a lot of strategies. But then there's this, this, this is this so, the thing is, this goes into Brute and Guardian, so you're leaving yourself somewhat open. And it is really nice against these attack reacts. Um, let's just have a little quick look at the rest of the pack. There's a nice little rising energy is also very good. Lead with speed even. Yeah, there's some good uh, sort of warrior cards. I'd be tempted to take this and ship the rest. The thing is, this this is one of the few ways of, of getting a sort of pseudo defense reaction and it uh, creates a little might token. Oh, it's very tempting. Hmm. You know what? I think I gotta stay open. I think I'm gonna go wage gold. Three for seven, stay open, ship this really good pack to my left, see what comes. Hopefully, yeah, can go any direction. Hey guys, it's Jason, Jason Lai, the superior one, and we'll just jump straight into it. Uh, first, we'll split off our class cards and our hybrid cards, and then we'll just put the yellows and blues down at the bottom. Glory Seeker, not really a priority pick for equipment. So here we're looking at 
seeing if we want to stay open or if we want to send a signal and take a class card. These yellow cards are probably not making the cut. Lead with speed is normally very premium, but in a pack like this, you kind of just want to take a very good card to set the tone for your deck. We can essentially stay semi-open by either taking a hybrid card or by taking Wage Gold. In this pack in particular, we probably don't have to stay very open. We can probably send these over to our left and just take Agile Engagement. It doesn't really seem to be a good warrior card in the pack and you can send a very clear signal and also this is just one of the best warrior cards in my opinion. So we'll send these over to our left to the next player and we'll take Agile Engagement. I would first pick Assault and Battery. Assault and Battery. So we're gonna pick Assault and Battery. I'm gonna go for Wage Gold in this one. Take the Wage Gold. Pick one, pack one. Agile Engagement read. Agile Engagement. Hey guys, it's your boy, Jacob Pearson. I'm here with pack two, so let's see what's good. Test of Vigor, fine card. A red engaged swift blade. Red beast mode, ah, it's not my favorite red. We see there's, there's a stand ground there for guardian. Some decent blue guardian cards. So the first thing that strikes me out of this pack is that there's no like really, really like hunky dory like slam pick. Test of Vigor is good in guardian. Warrior, yeah, it's still a block four, but a lot of the time as Warrior, you're going to be losing the clashes, at least if you're choosing to play Kasai. Sometimes Olympia can uh, be a bit more on the attack heavy side of things, and maybe sometimes you win the clashes, but it's not really that reliable. And giving your opponent a Vega token can be quite detrimental as well. And the only other like power card in this pack is really this red engaged swift blade everything else here is, is pretty mid-tier staying ground is really solid equipment all these dual token equipment are really really good in the format um just being able to get three points of value sometimes over the course of the game in fact if i take these early i'm really looking at getting the token generators the the blues in the format that defend for two and make one of each of your classes respective token they're really really good to combo with these it's very good to pay attention to how many that you have in your deck and oftentimes you can get them pretty late in packs um especially if you're looking at the guardian one so yeah not a lot to say about this pack not really sending many signals to the left either no matter what we do um there's probably likely to be a guardian to our left staying ground we see some decent guardian block threes so and obviously this this test of bigger here so i think i like taking the warrior card passing along a reasonable brute card some reasonable guardians and it seems like a pretty safe lane if we go down taking the strongest card in the pack which in fact is engaged swift blade red so that's going to be my my pick one pack one hey guys anthony i'm one of the game devs here for pack one pick one for heavy hitters we're having a look at the packs i think picking the guardian equipment for me is probably gonna be like my pick because it's good in both guardians and temper two is very strong in this format especially with a lot of two blocks and yeah hey it's jason here and we're with another pack and we are going to see what the better cards are here is a a sample of a pack where there is just no really good brute card. You can put the pound town and force KO, but unless I missed something, I don't think that is a very good idea. So here I would actually pick the test of Vigor and see if I go Guardian Warrior depending on what I get past. I would take the test here. We're definitely taking engaged shift blade here. We're just gonna take the stand ground here. I might just stay very open and think lunging press. Swift blade here. I will go with engaged swift blade. Engage swift blade for my pick. Hi everyone, it's Carol. All right, let's have a look at pack three. Some great equipment straight off the bat. Command respect is a great uh, guardian card. We've got pound town. Pack call for Brute. Holden, this is a great card for Olympia. It's got the Wager. Rising Energy is okay. I think here we can, depending on, on the mood, I think out of these, I think the Command Respect and Pound Town are just a little bit stronger. But we do have this great equipment. I love a three for seven, so I'm just gonna lock in. Ah, oh, but the equipment is so powerful. Actually, I'm gonna pick a gauntlet of mine. This card is just great. And it still keeps us a little bit open. And we can get the person next to us to make the hard decisions of what they wanna pick out of these four, probably. All right, it's your boy Tom. Back at it again with another pack one, pick one. Pack three, here we hit his booster draft. All right, so gauntlet of might's pretty good. First pick, Vigor Girth as well. It's good to get your draft started for some equipment, so we might go for one of those. Pound Town, Command Respect, decent picks here. But we're probably looking to take a piece of equipment here. 
Vega lane or the might lane. Personally, I do want to be warrior if I have my pick. We might be having a bit of a competition for the warrior in pack two, but I think we'll just take the risk and go for the Vega girth here. Pack one, pack one. Hey guys, Rohan here for pack three. Let's jump into it. These equipments are really good. We have two of them here. Pound Town, if this was the other one, I'd really be looking at it. Agility's clutch, but less so for Might, even though it's still decent for this pack. I am going to go with Gauntlet of Might. Pack one, pick one. So I'll play Gauntlet of Might. Gauntlet of Might. Gauntlet of Might is my selection. We're gonna go for the raw numbers. Pound Town gives you two Might tokens, very good. Rising Energy is my pack one, pick one. Holden, it's gonna be my pick one. I think that's gonna be my pack one, pick one. All right, friends, that is pack one, pick one. Let us know down in the comments below if you agreed with our picks. If you could do better than the devs, you tell us why. Can't wait to see you out there in your LGSs at Pro Tour LA drafting heavy hitters.